What's up, freaks? This is Steve Says, episode number 80. Steve Says, episode number 80. Today, I'm going to talk about what advice would I give the 19-year-old version of myself? Because I get this question a lot, literally on a weekly basis. I'll get a 19-year-old asking me, what advice would you give yourself the 19-year-old version of yourself? Or I'll get a 23-year-old asking me, or a 27-year-old asking me, what advice would you give the 27 or whatever age version of yourself? So this is exactly what we're going to talk about today. And, and as usual here on Steve Says, this is this might not be what you want to hear, but it's what you're going to need to hear. This is going to be what you're need, you need to hear. And although I'm saying this is for the 19-year-old version of myself, what I'm really talking to is the modern-day adult. The modern day adult needs this fucking information more than the 19 year old version of anyone. They have time to figure that shit out. This stuff, although I'm saying what it, the advice I would give the 19 year old version of myself, this is really the advice I'd give to 99% of the American population adults right now. 35, 40, 45 year olds. That's what, what I'm really talking about. Fuck, fuck the 19 year old. Let's, let's just keep it straightforward. This is for anyone. This is for the adults these days, the way that you see people acting and operating. And that's what I said. This is not going to be the stuff you might not want to hear, but it's the stuff you freaking need to hear. As always, some people will hate, but most can relate. Because you know, on Steve Says, we are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. We're going to talk about today what I've learned in, in the last... 30 years, 25 years from the military, from in business, from parenthood, and just life in general. And what advice I would give to that 19-year-old, aka modern day fucking 40-year-old is what it is. And if I can go back in time, what would what would you do differently? And then I want you to ask yourself, are you living the way you should be living at this freaking point in your life? Are you living the way you should be living at this point in your life? And if not, what do you need to change? What changes need to be made? So we're going to jump right into it today. We're going to jump right into it. So I have you on a couple screens here. So if you have any comments, questions, I'm just going to adjust this here, put them down below. Let's talk about it and, and let me know. What would you, what would you change? What, what would you add to this list? And, I'm, and this is going to be, usually we're very laser beam focused on like a single topic. Today it's going to be bouncing around because we're going to go from one thing to the next to the next on things that actually can help you in, in getting to that next level, in, in op, I, like, I like to call it operating to dominate, to teach you to operate to dominate. So what would I tell that 19-year-old version of myself? And there's a, the first two that came to mind. And again, I'm going to keep saying the 19-year-old version of myself, but I want you to realize it's really for you. You, that 35, that 40-year-old, that 45-year-old, that's not where you want to be in life, that's fucking miserable, that feels like you're, you're stuck and you're just going through the motions, feel like you're just living a mediocre life. Never lived up to your true potential. This is really for you. I'm just camouflaging it in saying it's for the 19-year-old. So the first two that come to mind are the two E's. The two E's. Ego and emotions. The first thing I would do to tell that little punk 19-year-old kid, aka that punk average American adult these days, is lose your fucking ego. It's going to get you nowhere. You don't know shit. You don't know it all. And, and the one thing I can't stand, and obviously, especially from a, a younger person, a 19-year-old, but also from anyone in any situation to say, oh, I already know that. Imagine that. I already know that. That, 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 that could, I couldn't imagine that coming out of my mouth to another human being, another adult saying, oh, I already know that. Like, sometimes... You need to just subdue your ego. Lose your freaking ego. Just sh- sh- sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. Open your ears and listen and realize you probably, you think you already know it and you probably know it from the wrong perspective. And if you already know it, why aren't you applying it? Why aren't you fucking implementing it? So sometimes you got to just subdue your ego, sit the fuck down, shut the fuck up and realize you don't know it all. There's, there's so much shit you don't know. And the next one, the other E is the emotions, and we're going to get to that in a second. And it's because this, this, these kind of flow a little bit. These kind of flow. And, and some of these are just habits, right? Like the next one. So that was subdue your ego. Lose your freaking ego was really the first one. Then, and I'm just going to be checking these here and there. 
what's up? Lose your ego. Next is get up earlier, wake up earlier, stop sitting in the comfort of those warm fucking covers and being afraid to attack the day. And it's not because you're tired. It's because you're, you're fucking defeated in your head. Thinking about afraid of those big decisions, those big adult fucking decisions you have to make today. Get the hell up. Get earlier. Get after it. And don't just get up. I don't mean just get up. Don't just get up and start zombieing around the fuck. Get up with a, with a fucking attitude. Get up and attack the day. Attack the moment. Go through your morning rituals, but attack the day. Wake up freaking earlier. You know you're not getting up early enough. You think you are, but you're not. Get up a little earlier there, 19-year-old punk. Get up earlier, a little bit earlier. That's a simple one. We're not going to spend much time on that. That's just so easy. Another one I would tell this 19-year-old version of myself or 40-year-old average adult, fucking read. Read more. Read often. Read every single chance you can get. If you would have told me when I was 19 years old that I would be reading like literally the minimum I'll read a day is 30 minutes. And that's if I read only 30 minutes in a day, that's a short day of reading. There's days I'll read two, three hours. Literally. Like every book here, I haven't read. There's still some because I keep adding to the collection. There's still a lot here I haven't gotten to. But some of these books I've read three, four, five times, six times. Seven, there's probably some even getting close to 10 times that I've gone through. Between reading and listening to, read everywhere. Read about business. Read about sales. Read about marketing. But also read about leadership and communication. Read about the military. Read about history. Read, read biographies about great leaders and great business people. And if you would have told me, that 19-year-old version of myself, that I would be reading Stoic philosophy, ancient Greek philosophy from 2,000 fucking years ago, I would have told you you were crazy. Read some... All the personal development. Listen, every book here, I'm telling you, not except not the business and sales ones. Those are but every personal development book I could pull off these shelves, literally, is just a a born a a, a rebirth of Stoic philosophy. That's where it all started from. Read, read every freaking day. Keep keep a book in your car. Keep a book in every room in the fucking house. Keep a book in the bathroom. Read when you're taking a shit. That's what you got to be thinking all the time. And if you're not reading, like literally read an open book. You should also have books on where you, on your tablet where you can just have the, the, the read them on the like an e-reader thing, whatever. Also, listen to them when you're driving in the car, driving back and forth places, constantly just soaking freaking knowledge into you because remember, your ego, the first one. That's why these kind of flow in order. And if you get up earlier, they'll have time to read. So realize you don't know it all. You need to keep learning. Have a fucking attitude of lifelong learning that you're going to continue to learn every single day. Learn something new every day. Imagine if you just learned one small thing every day that would help move you forward closer towards your goals. Imagine that. Imagine. That's 365 new fucking things a year. So stop bullshitting, thinking you, saying you don't have time to read. Well, if you got up, first of all, if you, if you, Got rid of your ego that you know it all. You woke up earlier, you'd have time to read. I'll literally put in my schedule. You'll see time blocks in my schedule. It just says, read. Read, that's it. And that's just the bare minimum of reading. Then any other chance I get, I'm reading. Or listening. You brush your teeth? Listen to a book. Put it, Get a, a little a portable Bluetooth speaker. You're in the shower? Put a book on. Working out? Listen to books. Fuck music. Fuck music. That ain't gonna motivate you. If you need music to motivate you to work out, it should be either nothing or listening to an audiobook. That's it during your workout. I'm telling you. So read, read, keep a book everywhere. Schedule a time of day, put a time, like d- dedicate a time for your reading and don't break that time for anything. That's like a non-negotiable. You need to soak your fucking brain. It all starts with your mind, your mind, then your body. Then you can worry about your business and whatever else. All right. The next thing right off of that. So if you're reading a lot, it's going to, the next stage, the next progression is I would tell that 19-year-old little punk bitch version of myself, learn how to speak, learn how to communicate, and learn how to fucking sell. Learn how to sell. Once you, If you could do those three things, you will never be without work. You will never be searching for money. You'll never be broke. You'll never not have the things that you want in life if you just learn to speak, communicate, and fucking sell. If you have the ability to sell and learn how to really sell the, the components of selling, there will always be a place for you 
and, and there'll always be work for you. There'll always be someone in need of your services if you could fucking sell. And you can always sell if you learn how to speak and communicate. And I'm still working on those. Trust me, it's a work in progress. That took a long time and it's still far from good. It's still real fucked up learning how to speak and communicate. But it's getting the reps in, getting the repetitions in and getting the practice in every day and just building those muscles to learn to speak, communicate so you can sell. But you need to learn to sell. Selling, you're selling all the time. You need to be able to sell. You need to be able to close the fucking deal. And once you can learn to sell, you can fucking sell anything. Learn to sell was the next thing I would tell him. Then from there, I tell this 19-year-old version, aka, and I have to keep saying it because I don't think it's just for the kids or the teenagers. This is for you out there who's not where you want to be in your life, who's, and I'm going to go off of last week's because I see it pushed a couple of people's buttons. I got some hate mail afterwards. This is for that that full grown-ass adult who isn't where they want to be in life and blaming everyone else. This is for you. Make sure you, I want to make that clear. This is not just for a 19-year-old. The next thing is, don't give a fuck what anyone thinks about you. Who cares? Who gives a fuck? Don't give a fuck. Unless. Now, there is an unless. And, and, and there's a great book. It's here somewhere, right here. Like, I even know where every book is on this shelf. I can think of a book and I can spot it on there. I can close my eyes and touch where every book is. Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. If you haven't read it, go read that book. Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. So, don't give a fuck what anyone thinks about you, except, because there is an except. Except. If you're an asshole, and you know if you're an asshole, if you're just being a dick, then you should give a fuck what people think about you because you're being an ass. So stop being an asshole because that shit ain't cool. But as long as you're doing the right thing, you're, you're, you're making sound decisions with your morals and your ethics and according to your values, don't, and, and what makes you happy and marching to the beat of your own fucking drum, don't give a shit what anyone thinks about you. It doesn't fucking matter. Who cares? And now, flowing off of that is build more relationships. A thing that, that I went literally three and a half decades not doing is building relationships with other human beings. Not instead of dogs or fucking goats or whatever else it is. With other humans. Build more relationships. And you have, there is a process and it's, it's work to build relationships with people. And men, yes, build relationships with other men. It's, it, and, and surround yourself with highly motivated, kick-ass, hungry individuals that can relate to you. That are just badass, kick-ass, savage motherfuckers, but also you can turn to when you're struggling with something. You don't have to feel like you're weak or soft or a little bitch. Like, that's the kind of relationships you need to build. But you can't just go and do that with anyone, because because most people out there are, are, are fucking weak and soft and have other intentions or have another agenda. You need to get find those people who are looking to help lift you up that you can also contribute to without expecting anything in return. Those are the kind of relationships you need to have. And the way that you have those types of relationships are you need to generate them, you need to cultivate them, and then accelerate them. Think of generating them like planting a seed, then cultivating them by watering the seed, and then growing them, accelerating them by watching that grow. That's what you need to do with other positive, like-minded, freak motherfuckers like yourself. That's the way you need to think. And that's the way you need to... to Build these relationships. And it's a huge thing that was lacking in my life. Trust me, I, I couldn't go in around other people. And still socially fucking weird. You know, th- the thought of having to go to a wedding and sitting at a table with a bunch of fucking strangers. Like the first thing I'm thinking of like is, all right, what order would I, would I kill these people in? Like that's, like that's what I would think go through my head. Like I don't want, I don't give a fuck whose side you're on. Who, you, who are you here for? The, the bride or the groom? Like I just want to get the fuck out of here. I don't want to chit chat. And that was something that held me back for decades, decades. And probably just the fact of not breaking through that own fucking stupid ass roadblock of myself in myself and not building those relationships probably cost me, first of all, meeting a, a, and, and getting to know hundreds of awesome fucking people, but also cost me probably hundreds, if not millions, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in missed opportunities from just being a prick. Yes, I'll say it about myself. So you don't even have to say it about me. Because I know you're going to say it about me anyway, some of you. I get, I get those messages you sent after these, these Steve Says episodes. But again, this is the shit you need to hear. You might not want to hear it, but this is the shit you need to hear. Stop being a prick like I was. You need to, and you need to put into work into those relationships 
without expecting anything in return. Like nothing at all. Like you do some good out in the world. You shouldn't even recognize you did good. It should just be fucking normal to you. You shouldn't be thinking, okay, now karma is going to pay me back one day. If even that level of thinking that you deserve something back, you ain't going to get shit and you don't deserve shit. It should be like, you're doing it. Okay, next. What's the next thing I can go do? Who's the next person I can go help? What's the next big fucking impact I can make? That's how you build real relationships. And I can't see because I'm a blind mother sucker. So I got to look up here to see the Instagram. Yes, Brenda, what's up? What's going on? So, can't really see these messages from here. I'm trying to scroll them as we're going. So that's it. Build more relationships. A huge mistake I've made in, in, in decades of my freaking life. So the next thing I would tell the little punk 19-year-old version of myself and the punk 40-something, 30-something version of the average American these days is learn to control your fucking emotions. Stop being a little bitch. Stop whining and complaining and and holding all this crap inside and boo fucking who, poor little me. Mommy and daddy weren't good good to me. Stop making excuses. Stop blaming mommy and daddy, all right? You can only play the I had a fucked up childhood card for so long. You're damn 40 years old. You haven't been a child for a fucking long time. Stop acting like one. Stop using that as an excuse to be weak and soft. And, And that's the reason why you don't have any success. Get over that shit. Break through that fucking barrier. It's about time. It's time to step the hell up. And to live your life. Get over it. Get over it. You made it here. You made it here. Make t- Take responsibility. Stop. And then we combined two right there. Which was to s- s- stop blaming your, your parents. Stop making excuses. Your decisions. These are your decisions that got you to where you are right now in life. You made the decisions that got you right there. So don't be pissed off at anyone. Don't blame anyone except for yourself. Take the fucking responsibility for where you are and for where you're going. And any decision you make, it might be you might, any risk you take, you have to think, am I willing to accept the worst case scenario, the worst case outcome that could possibly happen in this decision? And if you're willing to accept the worst case scenario of it, make the decision. And if you hit that worst case scenario, you are the only motherfucker to blame. You can't go blaming mommy and daddy anymore. Give it up. Give it up. You can't do it. It's your decisions to make. It's time to grow the hell up. Control those emotions. And then that little punk 19-year-old, I'll tell him. I'll tell him, listen, you're going to fuck up. You're going to do stupid shit. You're going to make tons of mistakes. But it's, it's, it's never going to be the end of the world. It's not shit. What you're going through right now, and even you 40-year-old, what you're going through right now, oh my God, I'm locked in my house. It's so horrible. In my fucking house. Oh no, I have to, the, whatever, there's masks and no masks and all this other bullshit. And presidents and elections and riots. Oh my God, it's so hard. Guess what? This ain't shit. You don't know what shit is. You want it, you think you're struggling. And there it is. Read this, read a few pages of this. You think you're fucking struggling. A man searched for meaning, Victor Frankl. You think it's so hard and, and life is so fucking brutal. Read that. Or here, I keep this right on my desk also. This is from my good friend, Jason Redman. I look at this who got shot in the face, got his arm shot off, and still walks around with one of the most positive, motivated people you could think of. And I think I'm having a bad day. I look at that coin. I read a couple pages of Victor Frankl's book, and I tell myself, slap the fuck out of it. Stop being a little bitch. It's not the end of the world. Whatever failure you had, or little, your little 19-year-old little feelings got hurt, your little heart got broken by a little Susie down the freaking street. Get over it. Get over it. Move the fuck on. So you can't blame your parents. Stop blaming all these other stupid shit. You're going to go through shit 10 times worse than what you're going through right now. I guarantee it. The next, the next disaster that's coming down the, road, down the road is going to be worse than this one. Because guess what? This one's going to be gone. And then it's going to be gone. It didn't even exist. You know what I mean? It's gone. It's fucking done. So stop bitching about it. And stop making excuses and blaming everything but yourself. That's what I'll tell you, you little punk, bald-headed bastard. And actually, he wasn't bald back then. He had slicked back hair and wearing gold chains. That's what he wore. The next thing I'll tell the little punk, 19-year-old version of myself is protect your time with your fucking life. Protect your time with your life. Protect it from the people and things that are a waste of time. Because listen, a homeless person and a fucking billionaire. I'm not going to say millionaire anymore because fuck, we're, we're, we're thinking big. A homeless person and a billionaire have the same amount of fucking hours in the day. They have the same amount of minutes. 
It's how are you going to use your fucking day? Who are you going to let waste those precious minutes in your day? Doing stupid shit. Scrolling through the fucking internet. Posting dumb shit on fucking MySpace. Stop wasting your damn time. Protect your time. With your life. With your fucking life. Protect your time. That's what you got to do. That's the way you got to think about it. Who, choose your time wisely. How you spend it. Who you spend your time with. And who you, who you, don't let anyone fucking waste it. Protect it. Guard it. And then that leads right into 19 year old Steve. Take out the trash. I call it taking out the trash. Eliminating all negativity in your life. People, person and things. Even places and locations and surroundings and environments. Take out the fucking trash. Without blinking a fucking eye. Without hesitation. Take out the trash. Whatever it is. The bad, the friends around you that are just dragging you down. Maybe it's where you live is dragging you down. Well, guess what? Get the fuck up and go in a different direction. Go somewhere else. Figure something else out. It's your choice, your decision. You make every fucking decision. It's all yours. It's all on you. Nobody else. Take out the trash could could mean family members. You might have to disassociate yourself from family members, your own brothers and sisters, your own freaking parents if you have to, your own damn kids maybe even if it gets to that. To that point, that's how strong you need to protect your time and take out the trash. Get rid of all the negative bullshit and people and drama in your life. Fucking eliminate it. Erase it like it never existed. That's what you need to be thinking. Because you have your own fucking life to live. Can't be going back to that little boy, that little boy child. When you see these 40-year-old fucking men walking around little boy childs, acting like little bitches, acting like little kids. Cut the shit. It ain't cool. It ain't cool. Stop bitching and moaning and whining and complaining. Like, step the fuck up. Take responsibility for your shit. Now you're getting me all fired up. I don't even remember what the hell we were talking about anymore. But, and thinking of that, next, this one, this one I want to tell you, and it's, it's part of, you can see this, this project logo I have on my hand. So I never had a, I was in the Marine Corps for an eight-year contract, four years active, four years inactive reserve. Never got a Marine Corps tattoo. Never got any tattoo till I was 41 years old. Yes, I was 41. I'm about to be 43. I know. I act like I'm like 15. But when I was 41 years old, the first tattoo on the top of my fucking hand, and it's a skull that has blood dripping off the axes and horns. And part of that, the reason for that skull is to remind yourself in this logo, the meaning of that skull in this logo is to look at it and remind yourself, you are going to fucking die. You're going to die. You don't know when, you don't know how, make your fucking time on this rock that's spinning around, make it fucking count, stop wasting time, stop being so fucking negative, stop blaming all these other people, listen to all these other things that I just said, make the changes, take the time to make the changes, complaining about where you're at, listen, if you're where you're at, you're doing nothing about it, just shut the fuck up, sit the fuck down, just keep being miserable until you die, that's all I can tell you. Unless you want to actually be coachable and listen to some stuff. That's when you are going to die. Do good shit while you're on this fucking rock. Make a damn impact. Everyone says, make an impact. I want to make an impact. I want to... What the fuck are you doing to make an impact? Seriously. Think about it. Are you? Leave this earth better than you found it once you leave it. Because you are going to die. Do your part to keep this fucking rock spinning and bitching and moaning like an a grow, grown adult child is not helping. It's not helping to keep this fucking rock spinning. It's not making this rock a better place once you're gone. It's making it a fucking pathetic place. If you haven't seen the way, the way thing, people are nowadays, you're making it a fucking pathetic place. Cut the shit. Cut the shit. Because you are going to die. Stop wasting your time. It could be tomorrow. It could be two seconds from now. It could be a hundred years from now. Make the fucking time count. Make it count. And that leads right into knowing that you're going to die. Be a freaking role model. I'll tell you, you little 19-year-old punk, start thinking now. Be, be a role model. There's people out there that are watching you, that need, need you, that are going to follow you and copy you. Be a freaking role model. That's what I'll tell them. In order to be a role model, what I'll tell that little 19-year-old punk is you need to find a role model. You need to find a coach, find a mentor, hire one if you have to. Let me tell you, the, the, the biggest mistakes I made in my life 
And the biggest changes I made in my life were after I actually hired a coach, found some good, positive, kick-ass, fucking motivated mentors and coaches. Hire a coach. If you want to talk about it, we could talk about it. We can get you set up on some accountability coaching, some peak performance coaching. Get you set up on the project. Let's talk about it. You need some coaching. You need some guidance. You need a role model. Hire one if you have to. The final thing I would tell the 19-year-old bitch-ass version of myself, as well as whoever else needs it out there, grown adults that act like they're still 19, is listen. You are fucking awesome. Now, don't let anyone convince you otherwise, not even your fucking self, because that's the first person who's going to try and convince you that you're not awesome, especially as an adult. The first person that's going to try and convince you that you're not awesome is yourself. That's who's going to try and convince you. So then what would I change? Not a fucking thing. Made some gruesome errors, done some bad shit in my life. I wouldn't change a fucking thing. It got me to this exact moment, this place where I'm at right now. So what you did got you to where you are right now. But the decision you make from this fucking moment on, this second, right here, this moment, the decision you make now determine what's going to happen next. So it's up to you now. So quit bitching about the fucking past. Make the decision to do something different because what got you where, to where you are is not going to help you get to where you're going. What you're doing ain't working. You need a different approach. From this moment on, you can make a decision and erase all that bullshit. Stop stressing about what might happen. Fucking make it happen right now. That's why I wouldn't change a damn thing because you, every second you have a chance to start it back over, a reset, a rebirth if you just make the decision to. Every mistake, every fuck up, every failure, every missed opportunity. Moments of weakness. Moments of bitch acidness. That's even a word it is now. Bitch acidness. Led to this exact moment. Right where the fuck you are right now. Right where you're supposed to be. Now it's your decision. Do you want to stay living in a life of mediocrity? Or do you want to make shit fucking happen? And do whatever it takes to get to where you know, where you want to be. Where you need to be. Where you deserve to be. Where your fucking kids are deserve for you to be, where your unborn grandchildren deserve for you to be. So these are just a few of the top things that I would tell the punk 19-year-old version of myself and the things I want to tell you out there that might need to hear some of this stuff and maybe don't want to hear some of it. And it might come like a slap in the face, some of it. It might sting a little bit, but it's a shit you need to hear. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. I'm going to check out all these Comments here. Instagram, I know the comments disappear. So I'm going to check them out now after we drop out of Facebook. So if you need anything, put it down in the, in the bottom. If you want to talk about setting up some private coaching, talk about the project, see if it's a good fit for you. Leave a comment down below or just private message me. We could talk about it. We can get you either on one-on-one coaching program or into the project, which is a personal development intensive program here in Southern California for men. Or we could do a remote one-on-one coaching for you. Either one, set me, put a comment below or send me a message. I will hook you up. We'll see if you're a good fit. We will get it rolling for you. You are fucking awesome. I will talk to you later. No excuses.